If I was to give a one-word answer to the question, why is industrialization Afri in Africa important, that one-word answer would be history. What's interesting is that 20 or even 10 years ago, no one would ask that question across a whole span of development uh, thinking because the presumption would have been that industrialization is a prerequisite of development. And it's only in the recent period that people have begun to think, oh, maybe it's possible we can become developed through jumping or missing a stage of industrial development and relying purely upon services and so on. That means if I was to give a second single word answer to the question, it would be common sense. Are you telling us that the whole of Africa can be a service economy or be devoted simply to financial uh, services? Uh, the answer is, or, or technical services such as, as India, which even itself uh, doesn't depend upon that, that alone. So for all sorts of reasons related to what we know about the historical and the practicalities and the forms taken by development, industry and industrialization would be a crucial part of it. So I think the lessons for uh, sub-Saharan Africa uh, and for Africa as a whole in terms of prospects for industrialization is that in, e in many respects weaker uh, potential than South Africa had, the grim determination to base a policies of industrialization on working class support for those policies is absolutely essential.